can't believe oh it. Oh my gosh, she has teeth or something in there. All right, I want to welcome you to BTR Outdoors. And on this episode, we're going to attempt to make some salted bait. And to be precise, it's going to be salted chicken livers that we're going to try to make for uh, catfish bait. So keep watching and let's see what we what turns out. So like I said on this episode, we are going to make some salted bait with uh, chicken livers. And what this does, it kind of hardens up, the, it dries out the uh, chicken livers. So it, makes them, uh, it, it will make them stay on the hook a lot better. And they'll last a lot longer. I can actually, after we're finished with the process, I could probably leave them out here in the garage for about two to three weeks, or I can put them in uh, the refrigerator and they'd probably last about six months. So basically I'm preserving the uh, chicken livers. And as you know, if you ever uh, think, if you, if you really think about it, if you look at a lot of the uh, lures, especially the plastic lures, a lot of them salted. Uh, fish tend to like salt. So what I got here is some regular old nasty <laughs> chicken livers. And then I got some uh, salt. And the salt that I'm using is the canning and pickling salt. This works a lot better. From all the recipes that I, I read, you're not supposed to use regular salt because of the, uh, oh, man, I already forgot. I will put it on the screen why you're not supposed to use uh, regular salt. Put about right there. So let's get going. So the first thing that we want to do is drain this nasty stuff. I guess you could use the, uh, I guess the leftover blood and stuff for chum. But what I'm going to do is just drain it. So we're just dealing with the regular chicken livers. Alright, I got me a little strainer that I got at Dollar General. Because I think my wife would probably kill me if... So I'm hoping something like this is going to work. Oh, come on. All right. I'm not sure what that green thing is, but it's pretty disgusting. I'm going to let this drain off a little bit, and then we'll start the uh, preserving process. All right, I got a little container right here. First thing I'm going to do is add some salt. Break it up a little bit. It was kind of coming chunks. But so line the, the bottom of the container with salt. And I'm going to grab some pieces of liver. Let me find some good stuff. Lay that in there. Lay that out because I want it to get in the salt really good. You can cut them up into regular chunks, but I like doing it once uh, they're already cured a little bit and preserved. It makes it just a little bit easier. All right. And I'm going to add just a little bit more salt. I like this. Cover them up. Add a few more. We'll find some smaller pieces. What's a good piece? There we go. more salt. Should be covered up really good. Alright, so that's basically what you're going to do. I'm going to let 
that set overnight and we'll check it in the morning and see how it did see if it's a uh, had enough time to cure it i'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on it all right another recipe i thought would be cool is let's do one with uh some garlic salt so i hope i got enough of this stuff because eventually i want to try the salted and the garlic and see which one works better I might have to add just a little salt too. All right, so let's put some pieces of liver in this. All right, let's cover this up. Ooh, that is pretty strong. Garlic smell, anyway. Let's see if I can get another little piece or something. So that nasty piece. Let's see, come on. You can see how uh, nasty this stuff is. That big piece. That's been the whole problem fishing with livers. You look at it, it won't stay on the hook. It's flimsy, mushy, especially the hotter it gets when you're out there fishing. It gets real mushy, it won't stay on the hook. You can't cast it very far. Best way I've ever fished with uh, lure is on a dock fishing straight down or in a boat fishing straight down where it wouldn't come off the hook, but if you try to cast it, yeah, you ain't gonna get very far. So this, like I said, dries it out. Put a little bit of regular salt on here too. And the good part of this, you, you can reuse the salt. All right. So we got that one going. So that's my garlic. So right now I got my regular salted one and my garlic. All right, so for one more, our last one, and I don't even know if this is gonna work. This is just, it works for other things, so why not this? Let's go with a little bit of a strawberry flavored jello. Let's try that. So I'm gonna mix a little, little salt with this too. This is good absorbent. Like I said, I don't even know if this is gonna work, but let's see. Let me sprinkle. A little bit on there. We got some big nasty pieces now. Nasty stuff. Yeah, it's already getting kind of mushy. All right, let's put a little bit of salt. Go ahead and pour it all in there. And some salt. All right. Put the lid on this one. All right, we got. Like I said, we got a regular salted one. 
we got our garlic salt one and then we got our kool-aid salted one that way when we go ahead and try it i can uh, separate these out and be able to see which one works best I mean, who knows it's worth trying all right so i guess the only thing we have left to do is clean up this mess i made and then we'll check on these uh tomorrow and probably have to flip them flip them around a little bit and we'll see how what the progress of them uh preserving is if i use enough salt if we'll just have to see but like i said the advantages of doing this is it's going to stay on the hook longer it's not going to fall off it will last longer like i said you can put it in the refrigerator um, once this process is done and you will it can last up to six months in the refrigerator it's really cheap i think i paid let's see where's the lid two dollars and 20 cents for this so that's the uh the bait's pretty cheap the salt was about the same price around two or three dollars i got my garlic salt for a, a dollar at a dollar general and that's where i got all this stuff that way i can preserve it in the uh out here so i'm not making a mess inside my house and then i'll put it i'll probably transfer it over to ziploc bags or some more containers like that to use it to go out and test it um, for catfish kind of excited i'm really um i've heard about salted baits for a, a while and so i'm really excited to try some of this i just hope it turns out good so we'll meet back here tomorrow and we'll see how we did all right okay it's been 24 hours and so let's open these up this is the kool-aid one first it's kind of a kind of steaky where it's a uh, steaky kind of feels like a about a texture of a steak maybe maybe medium rare but it is a lot it's a lot uh, firmer than it was I think some of these pieces would be pretty good all right that's the kool-aid which one is this one I think this is just the regular salted oh yeah that one's got a little bit better texture this one's probably about medium rare like I said it's a little bit more um, tougher than just regular lure so I think it's gonna stay on the hook a lot better All right, let's check the, the garlic one Ooh, that is strong that's the same texture as the salt one I think I'll be able to put it on the hook a lot better all right I don't know if this is fully preserved or not like I said it's my first time trying this I don't know if it like I said it's been 24 hours so I don't know if it needs more time I don't know let's see as it is right now this stuff would stay on the um, hook a lot better than just normal liver but i'm thinking it needs to be a little bit more drier because that's uh still pretty moist in there i don't think we've reached the preservative part i think we got a good start i'm just not sure of how to proceed like I said, this would be just right now. I could use this as bait, but I, th I would like to see it a little bit more firmer. So let me uh, try something and then we'll go from there. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay down a piece of some paper towel. 
mainly to catch the salt. I think these racks are going to be big enough. Let me get. I gotta clear me out a little spot here. A couple more pepper tabs. Uh, I don't know if I, um, since I had it in the containers with the lid on, that it didn't dry out as much as it needed to be. So I'm gonna lay them on these little racks. I'm gonna let them air dry. I'm not really worried about them leaking because I, I really think most of the uh, juice is out of them. But this first one is the Kool-Aid. I got them all. A couple more pieces. That's good sized pieces. Okay. Now let's go with the garlic pieces. Uh, let's see. I tell you what, this garlic is pretty strong. It's got a good smell to it, which I like. I think it's going to work really good. Some of these pieces are really tough. Some of them still need a little bit more work. Okay, then we got our salted, just regular salted pieces. That's a good, that's a pretty good firm piece right there. Yeah, that still needs some time to preserve. Oh, is that all? All right. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour a little bit more garlic on the uh, the garlic ones. And a little bit more salt. The Kool-Aid, um, it does smell like Kool-Aid. These right here. So I'm not gonna add any more Kool-Aid. I'm just gonna go ahead and add this regular salt. Let me, uh... Oop, I'm gonna actually put that on the, the garlic ones. I won't hurt it. I was thinking about putting these outside, but I really don't think that one, Ronan will not leave it alone. He's real interested in what I'm doing. But. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this out at uh, this room temperature. I think it got up in the 70s today. I'm inside, so I probably won't get that hot. So the process might take a little bit longer. And maybe that's just my whole problem. But I think maybe leaving it out in the air, we'll see how that does and see if I can get it a little bit more, um, get the meat to toughen up a little bit. Then having it in one of these and keeping it, you know, sealed and airtight. And I'll probably come out here tomorrow, flip them over and we'll go from there and hopefully they'll be a little bit more firmer and we can take them out and try them a little bit of catfishing because people are catching catfish right now it's just i'm not <laughs> so maybe this will break the the streak all right i'll save the rest of this for tomorrow and we'll see how it goes all right so we're looking at about 20 hours on the rack also they have hardened up a little bit and I am going to bag and tag them. We'll just do the regular 
salted livers. I don't know if y'all can read that or not. I would love to have like one of those uh, vacuum sealers. That'd be awesome. And then we got our garlic liver. Sorry about all the background noise. My neighbor is still cutting down trees. Or he hired a company to, but they don't get in no big hurry. All right, so that's our garlic. And last but not least, the Kool-Aid salted livers. I definitely want to try this again. Maybe start it out on the rack the, the whole time. See how that turns out. But I'm thinking about doing some other meats. And uh, like a shrimp, maybe even some squid, you know, that kind of stuff. So, all right. So what I'm gonna do with these is put them in the refrigerator and hopefully real soon, I'm gonna get to, uh, I hope real soon that I get to go fishing. We'll check them out and see which one catches the most fish. And we'll see also how good it does on sticking on the hook. All right, I'm kind of excited to see how this works. Okay, I want to thank everybody for watching this episode of BTR Outdoors. And if you have any tips of uh, how to maybe better this process of drying out the uh, livers, um, be sure to leave a comment. I would really like to know, like I said, this was my first time to actually do this. And my main goal was be able to use chicken livers without the uh, mess. I can cast them as far as I want to without them flinging off. It's just a lot easier and uh, hopefully they work better. Um, people swear by uh, salted baits and so that's why I decided to, uh, to make these and we'll give them a shot and see if we can uh, catch some uh, some Texas catfish. But as always, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, like I said, if you have any tips about salted baits, and hit that like button. Also hit that notification button, that lets you know when uh, the next video comes out. You know, as always, thank you for watching, and we'll catch you on the next episode.